Okay, here's another integration by parts question. So we're going to integrate by parts to find the value of this integral. <clears throat> now, what should be my u and what should be my v dash? Well, if that was my u and that was my v dash, can I differentiate? Yes. Can I integrate this? Yes, I can. And also, it's helpful here because u dash will become 2x and will be a simpler integral. But I can already spot in my head that I'm going to need to do two integration by parts. Okay, and that's why this question is a bit trickier, because I'm going to have to do the process twice. So, firstly, my u is x squared, my u dashed is therefore 2x, my v dashed is sine x, and if I integrate sine x, I get negative cos x. Now, the integral, this is the formula I'm using, of u v dashed is u v minus uh, the integral of u dashed v, <clears throat> so therefore the integral of x squared sine x with respect to x is going to be u times v, which are these two, so it's negative x squared cos x. Subtract the integral of u dashed v, with well, these two multiplied together would be negative 2x cos x, the negative with this negative term becomes a positive, take the 2 out of the integral and you have x cos x with respect to x. Okay, so we've done uh, so far it, in those regards. However, this now needs to be integrated itself, and that needs an integration by parts. So actually, let's call that this time my u and that my v dashed, and let's do a different integration by parts. u is x, so my u dashed is 1, v dashed is cos x, and if I integrate cos x, I get sin x. Okay, so the integral this time I'm working out, I'm just going to do this part, the integral of x cos x is uv, so it's x sine x, subtract uh, u, um, u dash v, so it would be subtract the integral of sine x dx, which is going to be x sine x, the integral of sine x is negative cos x, with this negative be plus cos x. Okay, so this is this integral here. Now what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to combine the answers. Okay, so therefore the integral I was looking for, the, the overall integral, is the integral of x squared sine x with respect to x. Well, it was this, negative x squared cos x plus two lots of this integral, which is two lots of this. So it's plus 2x sine x plus 2 cos x. And don't forget, whatever you do, to plus the constant c for the indefinite integral. So here's our final answer, negative x squared cos x plus 2x sine x plus 2 cos x plus c, and we're done for six marks.